Hello everyone and welcome back to the blind LP of Valkyria Chronicles. So I have just gone to the war cemetery and got artillery support, which covers the entire combat zone in artillery fire. So I'm not sure if it does a lot of damage, probably not. Uh, but I'm gonna level up. So I figured I'd at least show this. So we got, uh, we got another level. Three more levels for uh, you max out all the classes, which I believe in and of itself is an achievement. Um, okay, so I'm gonna save one last time, and now let's get to Rosie's side thing. The battle at Nagiar is almost upon us. Is there anything left to do beforehand? No, Captain. We've made due preparations. This will likely be the largest conflict you or I have seen. I want you rested and ready. Oh, by the way, did the Darksons who survived back in Thousand make it out all right? They should have. I told them all to evacuate to Rangris as soon as they could. Speaking of the Darkson, I hear the Empire's begun another wave of hunt. Oh. Darkson hunting? I guess that's one way to get back the labor force they lost at Thousand. The report I read mentioned an enemy unit hunting Darksons by the border. I'm sending a squad to take care of it now. You all have earned a rest, though. Go catch up on your sleep and relax a while. You're dismissed. Captain Varat, would you let us do it? What? Please? Rosie! I'll second that, if we may, Captain. All right. I'll place Squad 7 in charge of this operation. The village in question has a large Darkson population. It's been raided time and again. Secure the village and its people's safety, and stop those hunters. Yes, Captain. We'll leave as soon as we can. You would think if you've been raided, you would just not be there anymore because you have been raided previously. You wouldn't just, you know, stay? Here is your mission brief. Okay. Uh, okay, so this is the map in which the Shock Trooper uh, trial is in. And it was a bitch to do. Like, the Shock Trooper trial was by and far the most annoying to set up and do next to the final trial of tanks. Fix on location. You just go out, take a position along the path. Once you see them pounce, wipe out the entire squad. If it is neutralized, every last appear. Soldier, don't let anyone get away. If even one survives, it's only a matter of time before they find others and come back. Even one survivor will mean mission failure this time, and you, of all people, should know these people must be stopped. Okay. So they must have an escape zone. Okay. I'm going to have Alicia there. Rosie's out, right? Where is she? Oh, I'm guessing she's just necessary. She's somewhere. I don't see... Oh, no, there she is. Because she was in a different color, I couldn't... My eyes weren't catching her. Um, I'm gonna... Put... Oh, Cesare. And... I'm not sure if they're gonna have a tank that I need to snipe, so I'm going to deploy Oscar. The Darkson hunts end here and now! Squad 7, move out! Okay. Awful lot of spots to hide around here. Yeah, especially around those rocks. I can see a lot of unexpected run-ins happening. Huh, better believe they'll be running. I'm the damn shock trooper. All right, let's begin the mission. 
Take out every last one of them. Okay. So there's a sniper right there that I need to take out. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Rosie. Come get this guy immediately. Go down. Okay. I just wanted to see his uh basically his alignment types of uh personage to see whether or not. Yeah, I'm just gonna take him out. Okay. And now I'm going to Lancer me. Okay. And they have a tank up there. So I'm gonna use Oscar. sweet spot in which you're just able to hit like the perfect point on it. Um, fortunately I don't think I'm going to be seeing that. So what I'm going to do is well actually I'll try it one more time. Five hundred damage to attack. That's absolutely insane. Okay. So that tank's there. He only has uh, uh, I'm on it. Maybe Melville can go take him out. Good. I expected there to be a troop there, so that was the bad. world's better off with those oily dark hairs dead and gone, you idiots. Get in our way, and we'll be all too happy to send you to your next life. God damn it, man. I was not expecting a second one. He's dead. And she's looking down the hallway. Uh, 
I'm actually gonna have her look down this hallway. Because I feel like this one is a bit more dangerous. Okay. And now, I'm gonna use Ted. I can see your punch line from a mile away. Ready to mortars. Check him out. Why risk your hide for some dark hair? There's those who rule and those who obey. That's the way this world was made to be. Thank you, thank you. Please keep up formation as you flank them. Okay. We need those pack mules for our labor camp. Yeah, just making sure these guys are dead and dead. Now, Ted is behind this tank. And I want to take out this tank specifically because it is like on the top. So you can see that these guns are absolutely amazing about at just like destroying tanks. It's awesome. Because. Him in the crit, he already does an insane amount of damage for the most part. You're using a gun that has like a hundred per armor, like essentially for a tank, and you're shooting it seven times. I wish there was an enemy count. <laughs> wow, that was a bullshit accurate shot. I'm calling Acetree on that, just outright. <laughs> okay. Minor damage taken. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So I'll do my best. I'm hoping. Took out a medium tank in one shot. Yes. Throw a it's, it's super right, shitty hitbox as done. well. Okay, so there's probably a guy in that grass right there. Like I gotta check around all the rocks, which kind of sucks. But um, what I'm going to do is um, there's Carl. I'll do my best. One come and get Cesar because I'm not sure if I can beat this stage Where is everybody? in Medic! Uh, in the amount of time. Because you have like th three turns before they die. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to finish before that turn limit. turn limit is up. So I want to make sure that he survives. Because you don't... You, you, don't you do not get many snipers in this game. Ah! You get like five or six, maybe. Good. That makes things a bit easier. Okay. So that's good. So now, what I want to do is, I'm on it. because I don't have any, uh, uh, there aren't any more tanks or anything. You never know where they're hiding. Okay. I found one. Where? Make sure you stay calm. No. Bushmalt the Edge. I'm going to... I'm going to grenade him out first. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to use Ted to get him from up here. I can see your punch line from a mile away! Thank you! Man 
now. Is there anyone you can see from up here, Ted? Stop! Go around! This way's no good! It doesn't look like it. Their total number is unknown. So I'm going to set Ted around as well. And I love Ted because Ted is just fun. Through. Enemy sight. Think you can stop oh, okay, me? Okay, cool. Yeah. See, that's the that's the key to this game: being able to just quickly enter target mode so people can't fire. Yeah. Who are these guys? They just won't go down. We've got no choice. Pull out. Everybody, get out the best you can. You know where to meet up afterwards. Once we all get there, the hunt's on. Smug bastards. They're making plans for their next hunt before they're even out of this. Sevens, we're hunting these cowards right back. Don't let a single one of them go. Didn't really plan to. Don't let your guard down. I got her the uh, car nine because it's just better. It is so much better. Because with the car eight, it's still really good. But guys like these might take eight shots. Okay. Okay, so that's not all of them. So I'm guessing there's. will just be ducked under. Okay. So, I set her up here for, like, crossfire. Um. I'll knock him dead. Shoot Ted out. I can see him on from a mile There's away. probably someone in this grass, in all honesty. Enemy found. Keep your cool. Yeah, Lance Hurley. What's up, bitch? This one? Just gonna take him out. Thank you, thank you. Why a Lancer would need to crawl in the grass? I don't know. But enemy found. Return fire. I repeat, return fire. Okay. So I know where I probably the last or second to last trooper is. Okay, second to last most likely. themselves to me, which does make it a bit easier. Ted, fucking idiot. Everyone's a critic. Okay, so I know someone's right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use her. Mass shoot. Look on him. 
Jackson and some Melville. Come up around the back of this guy. Take him out. set him up just in case that guy tries to run away, in case I don't kill him. My turn, okay? Fortunately, she was status downed. Uh, I'm gonna grenade him. Because that, that defense thing he has. It's actually pretty bad for me. So what I'm actually gonna do is gonna use Melville again. Come and pick Idiot Ted up. Cause Ted is the one that's like, oh, ultimate evade and shit. It's like, oh yeah, don't get that on Lawrence turn. Because that way he was looking at Alicia instead of forward. Okay, good. That was a lot faster and simpler than I thought it was going to be. Operation complete. That's all of them. Cool. Fucking hunting racists. Yeah, got three. Got an area. Huh. I wonder if that's like a flamethrower or something. Cool. So let's save after that. in this village, kid? Where's your family at? The Imperials who came to the village before. They killed my parents. That's rough. Why do they all... Why do people hate us? Are they gonna keep hating us forever? I'll tell you something. My town got hit by a hunt, too. Really? A whole bunch of Darksons live near me, see? And they burned the whole place down. My mom and little brother died in the fire. After that, I started hating Darksons too. Figured if it weren't for them, you know? But a good friend showed me I was all wrong. She was the first real Darkson friend I had. What's she like? How'd you become friends? She was real stubborn, but she was truthful. Kind and honest and strong to the core. But she and I were off fighting the Empire and she got killed. Oh. Building a world where Darksons and everybody else got along was always her big dream. I figure now it falls on me to make sure that happens. Do you know a way to get people not to hate us? If so, please, please tell me. I wish I did, kiddo. All I know is how to get things done my own way. Want to know my plan? When this war is over, I'm going to be a singer. A singer? Yeah. Songs sound the same to folks of all kinds. The feelings behind them get through. I'll keep singing until her dream comes true. That's my way of making her world happen. You should figure out your own way, kiddo. How I'd change the world? Well, I gotta get going. Take care, kid. You too. Thank you very much. Okay, so you get some backstory into why she hated Dark Sons, and you can see her growth as a character. Isara. I got something to report to you today. A while back, when we went to stop the hunts, I met a boy who'd lost his parents, right? Well, he sent me a letter. Said once I got to sing again, he'd come listen to me. <laughs> Good taste for a little squirt, huh? And he says he wants to become a doctor. Says that's his way of changing the world. I'm not promising miracles, but we'll try. Bit by bit, you just watch. Take it easy, Asara. I'll come again soon.
Okay. Save. So right now we're at 25. Let's see where we're at by the end of the cutscenes, and then I'll decide whether or not I want to cut the episode off at that. She said it missed her organs, but she's still out cold, huh? Come on, boss. There ain't nothing we can do for her cooped up in here. We really got our hands full, keeping those imps from crashing down on top of us. Yeah, you're right. We'll be back soon, Alicia. Lieutenant Gunther, might I have a word? Hmm? Sure, what's up? Well, it's... I'd feel more comfortable if we could talk alone. Right. I'll head on back to the squad, boss. Thanks, Largo. Get everyone ready to move out. I'm sorry to keep you. I know you've got a squad to run here. It's fine. What is it? Well, I removed the bullet from Alicia's body, but when I took a look at it, it... It's... The bullet wasn't of Imperial make. It was a Galleon sniper rifle round, sir. Oh, shit. So he was... Mm, Faldio probably sniped there. What? And not just a normal round, either. It's part of a new series, still in testing. So you're saying... You think Alicia was shot by someone on our side? I can't be completely sure, but... I believe it's a very real possibility. But why? What would anyone stand to gain from shooting someone in their own camp? Because Faldio probably read how to awaken a Valkyr's power, and he had the conjecture that, you know, if if she is indeed a Valkyr or a Valkyrian blood, then she could be a very big asset at least. So let's snipe her while missing all of her vital organs. And then have her awaken, hopefully. I'm guessing that was the plan. Ah, those incompetents! Why are they letting the Empire have their way? With all due respect, General, our army isn't equipped to fight a Valkyria. We ought to pull back for now and think of a strategy to neutralize her safely. Ah, quiet, quiet! We pull out now. How will I explain this to the higher-ups? Tomorrow at noon, we march on to the Empire again. Every soldier we have, fight! General! Know your place, Barat. You are dismissed. Ugh, you gotta love it when they have idiot people. Like, how, how did this fucker become general? Like, how? How did he? He's so dumb. lose the whole army isn't there what can we do launch a secret special op that uses the one squad that seems to be able to do everything <laughs> and then i don't know make it safe so awakening Guessing whoever it was, he was in a Galdian uniform. So I'm just gonna say it's probably Folio or whatever. <laughs> Give her. I'm guessing that was supposed to be like a very small spear. Because. or a lance, a very small lance. Because, uh, Savaria uses a lance and a shield. So, uh. I'm not sure whether. Like, there don't seem to be any, uh, cutscenes that throw you right into a battle, but. I'm saving, just to be sure. Because <laughs> if I'm not prepped, then I'm done. Listen to me, Gal. 
Natalia. Cast aside your weapons and surrender. If you do not, Nagia's planes will drink deeply of your blood. She can't be a Valkyria. Oh, and her hair turned like whitish gray. Another scion to the Valkyra? This world has no need for two. Get out! So that was really cool. Um, I'm wondering if I'm going to be able to use Alicia during this fight. Because, sure. Um, I don't think that I'll have time to do the, uh, to do this fight, like, without going to, like, super high. And I don't really want to do the skirmish. So I will uh, show you because I showed you this one, the sniper trial, and I never showed you the completed scout trial. So now that I've done this many, many times over, uh, and in the prior episode, I already showed you all this. So uh, I followed a guide online to how to do it, uh, and that was based purely off of, uh, based purely off of no upgrades. But because I'm upgraded, it is a lot easier and faster. Well, not even a lot easier and faster. It's just slightly... Like, I can make it a little bit faster. And it's not as dangerous at any point in time. So, use Alicia because she gives you an extra move. But first thing you do, come over here, get Rosie. And one of the main differences between my run and the run that I had done prior is the use of Rosie. Uh, because I found that one way in which... You only need Rosie for the turn she gives you, not for the, uh, not for her to actually combat it. So you come over here. Uh, you have to make sure that that yellow line is there because it means that you can target him. And you end turn here while looking at the bridge. Uh, <clears throat> so how it works is there's some movement up there. more movement and then lastly uh, he, this guy comes down uh, comes across he, he basically tries to snipe you from the other side of the bridge uh, and because he's out of range you don't return fire but this next turn he comes further into the bridge where you get a shot off nearly killing him or getting him to half health but now he's close enough to return fire So now you have already eliminated two enemies. And now Rosie gets called in. So now you have an extra turn. But what you do now is you come back over here and you call in Largo. Now, the difference between what I do and what the god does is usually you're supposed to take Rosie, come back here, wait here, and have her push up to around here. To around here. 
And then the next turn, you run over, you grenade him out, then you shoot him dead with Rosie, and you've already used two of your four turns. And then here, you take out a couple people and whatnot. But the difference I have is I use Alicia here. I then target this guy and kill him. What this means is I don't have to use a turn for Rosie's movement now, and because I'm not going to encounter anyone on this run, I'm using her turn uh, with a with a shot, so it's a uh, positive, like it's a good thing, and uh, I don't ha also have to use Rosie for attack turns later on. <clears throat> so I've made full use of the turn. Now, uh, I come in here, and I just turned on the map, and there's an enemy right there. And you just take them out. And, uh, there really isn't a way that I can figure out to make it so this guy can't shoot you, because I believe even if you come on the other side, he's facing, like, towards the rock for some reason. Now, this guy, if you crouch down, he doesn't shoot at you. So I point here, not that it really changes anything. Uh, because that guy's gonna come around, shoot me, and I'm gonna return fire and kill him. And then the other person, the other people on their team, don't, uh, move. Like, they're all stationary people. And this is how I essentially did all my grinding, for all the guns and XP and money. So now, there are no more people on their team that move. Uh, and Largo comes in, so now I have four moves. I'm only going to need three of them, which is really nice. So now I stand, and I come over here. And now I slowly walk, because it just makes me feel safer. And here's the unique guy that drops the gun. And you need to kill him to finish the map, but he's the one who drops the eight K or the uh, car eight. Now, with that guy down, uh, and he's definitely the most powerful enemy. Like, he can take you down really fast. You come over here. The smell of fresh soil. Now, there's a dude right behind this rock. Like, in that grass. And I've used my turn. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end my turn here. Come back in with Alicia. Pop out. Unfortunately, didn't pop out far enough. Okay, I had to pop out a little bit more, shoot him dead, and after you do this map the first time and get the eight and get the car eight, you can essentially do what I'm doing. You just have to eke it out one time, probably not get an A rank. Uh, although if you follow the guy that uh, I saw, oh, you totally can get an A rank. So actually, what I did was I fucked up a little bit. So I run out and turn there because they don't fire at the end of the turn. So, he's here, and you're using the last turn, you hit it, and then you're just tapping the enter, like, battle state. You wait until he gets down again, and because I'm level uh, 20, have all the potentials and whatnot, more procs, but this is a very safe way to go through it all, get a consistent A rank, and uh, get the guns. So, got an A rank victory to have eliminated all those Imperials hiding in the dark, and with such speed, it's truly amazing. Oh dear, the blood's rushed to my head. And then Susie uh, calling medic. And uh, the weird thing is, in I believe the Japanese audio, all of those have dialogue. Like, there's voice dialogue for them. But uh, there aren't any uh, in the American release. Uh, so, with that, uh, I have successfully showed you the map that I failed prior, while also procuring another gun that I have no need for because I already have a lot, and a lot of XP. So let's use it to level up. Okay, one more time. And then, okay, so we got a new order. Resupply. This order replenishes one ally's ammo. That's actually really good. Because that means I don't necessarily... I could have a sniper 
who needs ammo, I don't need to return them to camp. I could just use that to I could use that order to give them more ammo. Which is really nice. So I'm not sure if there's anything in the R and D facility. I'll do a quick check. Uh, and I know I understand like the R and D facility is kinda of pointless for me now because I have DLC weapons. Um, well, not even DLC weapons, uh, DLC mission weapons. So these are all, like, subpar compared to what I'm using as of right now. Um, so I get it. I just, uh, I like to unlock things for the most part. Like, because now I have obscene amounts of money, there's no reason why I shouldn't unlock them. Because, like, if you remember before, when I didn't have the enormous amount of money I had, it was always like, okay, I'll buy these ones because I like this stat the best. Like, I want more firepower, I want more accuracy. And now it's like, I have better weapons in all of it, so now I can just buy all of them and it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I mean, it sort of does matter to a degree, uh, because for the scouts it doesn't. But for the these guys, for the shock troopers, it kind of does. Because Rosie is the only one that can have this gun, or the, uh, and it's not specifically Rosie, but she is the shark trooper I use the most because she gives me a move. Whereas, um, like uh, other classes, you can just you can continuously get their DLC weapon. You can only get one, so I put it on Rosie. Largo, I don't use Lancer, so it doesn't matter. Like I'm only probably ever going to use Largo and maybe John. Uh, Yoko has never seen Battlefield time, I think. Um, Kong and Claudia, they just use the scout weapon. Uh, and then these guys, uh, these guys get easily get really good snipers, and he gets an anti-tank one. And I'm not sure if you can get multiple anti-tanks, but I wouldn't want multiple, because, you know, there's only ever going to be so many tanks on one map. But, uh, yeah, so just... Figured I would give that reasoning. Uh, so now we're at like 43 minutes-ish, depending on the cuts and whatnot. Not that there will be cuts, just general beginning cut uh, slash end cut. And uh, I have shown we have done the map, or we have done the Rosie map, and we have I've showed you the scout trial. I'm not gonna do any of the other trials on screen because it, it like. I've done the scout trial so many times that I know it essentially by heart how to do it in that exact way I showed you. I could also do, I, and I showed you the sniper trial, although it was subpar in that one, but that was more or less just a shitty RNG for the most part in terms of like, oh, one person got downed and stuff. But I have showed you a map that I had previously shown you and failed at. Um, so I feel like I've made good on one past mistake. So, with that, I'm going to end the episode here, and I hope you all join me for the next episode of Valkyria Chronicles. Uh, I feel like we're ramping up to the end here. Like, I, I'm not sure how many chapters more. It's probably only, like, one or two. Um, so, with that, I hope you all come back, and I hope you all have a very nice day.